Good morning, this is Keith All, and welcome back. Today is a continuation of our little series on creating legal pages for your website. And today we're going to uh, learn two things. One, we're going to make available the global footer that we created in the last video and make that available to all these individual pages for this particular website. And then second, then we're going to make available that footer and each individual page, make those available to any other website that we build in Builderall. So right now, if we go to the live page for this, you could see that no footer exists here. So it's a simple process and it will be the same thing for each individual page. Uh, so I'm just going to show you on this page and then just follow uh, the same instructions for the other pages. So we want to click on this dot here and click on settings. And if we scroll down, go to the footer settings. And as you can see, there's no footer selected for either the mobile or desktop version. And we're going to select this. What appears in this drop down box is a list of your global elements for this particular website. So I'm going to select that, click on save, and then republish it. Okay, now let's go to the page itself. And as you can see, now the footer is attached to this particular page. And I've already done it for the rest of these pages. As you can see, there's the footer now. Okay, now let's see how we could save these elements. So now when we build any other website within the Cheetah Builder, we were able to grab these pages and the footer. So in order to do that, we must save certain elements as a personal item. So let's edit this particular page. And what, what we, what we want to do is save this page. Uh, as a personal item. Now this page right now in the editor just consists of this page element and not the footer itself. The footer is a global element and it won't appear in the editor on, for this page but it does for the live uh, web page itself as we uh, saw previously. So in order to save this, we want to uh, save the panel itself. And what's attached to the panel are all these elements on top of that panel, which are these text elements and this image element. So we're going to select the panel element, click on the save icon, and now let's name this. Okay, the item is saved. Let's also come up here to the right, click on save, and that's fine. It will republish the site. Let's close out of here. Um, I'm going to close out of this page, leave. Now we want to save the global. What I just did for this page. Follow the same steps for the rest of these pages. You have to individually edit each page and then save the panel element as a personal item. Okay? And I'll do that in a second. Let's go over to the footer. Edit footer. Again, we're going to select the panel element which includes the menu element and this text element on top of that panel. 
So I'm going to select save. And then this is going to call, let's see. So it's saving the element. Let's close this. Let's save it again up here. Let's go back here. Let's republish the website. Okay, now I'm going to uh, uh, do this for the rest of these pages and I'll be right back okay I'm back I added or saved each individual panel element on these pages as a personal saved element now those elements are now available to me to add to any other website that we build so let's go back over here Click on home. These are my other websites. I already created a test website so we could add these elements to this. So edit page. And I'm going to uh, show you. Let's see. Let's go to the live page itself. As you can see right now, it's blank. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to edit the page. So it says add a panel. So what I'm going to do is come over here, click on add, personal, panel, Here's a drop down list. And as you can see, all these pages now appear as a, a personal element that I can now add to any page for any website. So I'm just going to do it for the privacy policy. So I'm going to just click on it. Click, uh, click on the plus sign. There we go. The panel was created and added. Scroll down. We're going to save this. Okay, we're going to go back to the home. And now we want to do the same thing for the footer element that we saved, but we want to add it to the global footer here for this particular website, which is just called test. So we're going to save that. Create new footer. We're just going to global footer. Click on save. We're going to edit the footer. And as you can see, it's empty right now, so we're going to need to add a panel. We're going to co come over here. We're going to go to personal uh, items. Uh, panels and then we're going to go down here and select the global legal pages footer and just click on that plus sign and there it is click on save that's fine
and then go back here. Let's republish it. We have to now go to this page and go to the settings. Scroll down, footer, select the global footer, click save. Republish the site. Now let's go to the website page. As you can see, now we have that page. Scroll down, and we also have the footer. The only thing left now to do is re edit this menu item because now we have different pages basically in this particular website. So let's scroll over here, go back to the footer, edit footer. Click on the menu item, gear icon, and now um, we have to click on the chain link. And remember, in this particular website that I'm working right now, I only have one page, which is the home page. So what you would need to do is then, for this particular website, create four more or three more pages and name them appropriately to match what these menu items are. In other words, make a privacy policy page, terms of website use, disclaimer, frequently asked questions. And then you could come back here to this chain link and link up the proper page to that menu item. And that's all you would have to do. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you today to understand the uh, Builder All Cheetah Builder a little bit uh, better and how we could create some pages, in this case legal pages, and make them available to other websites within the Builder All platform. Thank you again for stopping by today. You have a great day. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification. And also please like, share, and comment. Thank you very much.